So you're wondering if you need a 4K monitor or a 4K TV for your PlayStation 5, or you're just curious to find out the difference between the both of them for the PlayStation 5 and, you know, just next-gen consoles. So I'm going to be comparing a $1,000 4K smart TV designed by Sony for the PlayStation 5, as well as a $300 Asus gaming monitor. So this is a 4K gaming monitor as well. So the TV was designed for the PlayStation 5 and it has HDMI 2.1, but the 4K gaming monitor does not really support HDMI 2.1. So it supports HDMI 2.0. This Asus gaming monitor is actually pretty good for the price. So if you're not looking for something crazy, you want something that's affordable for you, because like I said, this TV only starts at $1,000. So this is the 65 inch version, by the way go for something smaller but it's still going to cost quite a bit because TVs just tend to cost more than monitors well depending on the kind of monitor you're getting but there's better budget options for the monitor and you can't even play like a lot of games at 120 Hertz yet or 120 frames per second there's not a lot of them Call of Duty there's a few of them right there but you can't really go too far so a lot of games cannot push all the way to that 120 and harness the best part of the HDMI 2.1 cable. So you'll notice in this video uh, the differences or no difference at all. I'll be testing both of them out using Spider-Man Miles Morales. In this game I'm going to test out 30 frames per second gameplay as well as 60 frames per second gameplay. And you'll notice there's, there's virtually no difference man. At least not for me personally. I think both displays work amazingly well. They have different functions. One is a TV, one is a gaming monitor. You can't really compare both of them, you know, exactly. So I'm not really comparing these two things uh, against each other. I'm comparing them for the PS5. So you can see, you know, if you want one over the other one or if you don't really care. Okay, let's go ahead and compare both of these things right now for the PlayStation 5. So I'm gonna start with the price. And so for the 4K Smart TV from Sony, the Sony X900H, it's a 65 inch TV that starts at 1,000 US dollars for price. So in Canada, on Amazon, Canada it's all it's at like 1800 so this is an expensive TV no doubt but there's not a lot of HDMI 2.1 TVs that you can get as well that are you know on the smaller end so you can get 4k TVs you just can't get the HDMI 2.1 if you're going to get an expensive TV you might as well get an HDMI 2.1 TV so you can enjoy all the extra bandwidth and data being passed through the cable because that's basically what the difference is between the both of them one of them passes more uh, data through than the other one giving you you know more features access to more options and stuff like that the 4k monitor cost about 329 US dollars like I said it's a budget option it, it works it works man it works great so if you're looking for something that you can just you know plug into your PlayStation 5 4k the monitor also has some extra features you know making it a gaming monitor for example AMD free sync go ahead and check the video at the top of the screen right now if you want to find out more about this monitor next thing I'll talk about between both of them is the size so if you don't really care about size then this might not even bother, it might not even interest you at all, man. The Sony 4K TV is 65 inches large, while the 4K Asus monitor is only 28 inches wide. Some people might prefer a smaller screen size, some people might prefer a larger screen size, like me, yeah, I prefer a larger screen size, so it's just, it's just what it is for me, man. Some people prefer a monitor. If you prefer that kind of size, Go ahead and grab that, man. That's that's what's for you right there because you can get away with it and it's cheaper, like I said. There's not a lot or even any HDMI 2.1 monitors out there. And if it is out there, it's gonna be pricey. I'll tell you that right this moment. Okay, next up, the HDMI inputs. There's about four HDMI inputs. I think they're all HDMI 2.1 inputs on the Sony X900H. But on the monitor, the ASUS monitor, there's only about two HDMI points and there are HDMI 2.0 ports so 2.0 inputs not 2.1 it just means they can't receive uh, all that data you know from an HDMI 2.1 cable the 4k monitor also has a display port input so display port 1.2 the display port will be great for you know playing PC games or using your, your that monitor with a PC okay in terms of compatibility and you know use across other platforms like other consoles PC and stuff like that I'll say that the, the 4K monitor is a winner in that department because obviously you have more options and it's designed for gaming. So those work perfectly, especially with PC. They're, they're, it was designed more for PC than a console. Consoles work best with TVs. If you're gonna be going between both of them, like you know PC, uh, Xbox Series X, PS5, different different things, 
then just get the monitor, man. Get a monitor for yourself and have some fun. Or you can get both, get a monitor and get a TV. Connect the monitor to your PC and then connect the TV to your console. Okay, so I went ahead and compared the visual output or the video output from both of these systems. This is probably just the output or the video output from the PlayStation 5. It doesn't mean that this is what, you know, it allows you to see on the TV. As you can see right here, all the resolutions available to us, there's a 4K as well. It doesn't matter if you're on the HDMI 2.0 or if you're on the HDMI 2.1. You just might not be able to get up to 120 hertz and you know, so forth. You might not be able to play at higher frame rates at higher resolutions. So let's say 8K resolution, you might not be able to even get to that point with the monitor. So you might need an HDMI 2.1 cable as well as an HDMI 2.1 input like the TV for example, to be able to enjoy higher frame rates at higher resolution. I tested out both displays with the PS5 using an HDMI 2.1 cable connected to the HDMI 2.0 input on the monitor as opposed to connect it to a 2.1 input on the uh, TV. So all I did was I played in performance uh, RT mode versus fidelity mode, which is just 30 frames per second uh, for fidelity and 60 frames per second for performance RT. On Spider-Man Miles Morales to kind of see if there was going to be any, you know, difference, maybe dropped frames, you know, lagginess and, you know, things not being carried over. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't notice a difference. It played exactly the same on both TVs or both screens. I'm talking the TV and the, the monitor. So they played exactly the same. I didn't notice nothing to be honest with you guys uh everything was smooth everything worked just as well if you've played any 30 versus 60 frames per second games on the ps4 or any on any console for that matter then you'll understand what i'm saying you know while you're playing it you might not be able to notice it uh in this video or even in any video for that matter because it kind of it's kind of harder to see it from you know through another screen because you're looking at one screen through a different screen that's kind of what the camera is you know when it's pointed at a TV or a monitor in this case. When it comes to getting immersed in a game, you know, feeling like you're a part of it, you're in it, it varies according to different individuals. So some people will prefer playing using a TV that's really large and, you know, feeling like you're a part of it because you can see a lot and, you know, it's just right up in your face. All the characters, you can see everything. You, you feel, you, It's more immersive to some people. Like for me personally, I'll tell you right now, the bigger the screen, the better for me. I love large screens, especially when I'm playing video games. You can be different and prefer a smaller screen or a monitor, because like I said, the immersive experience varies according to different individuals. So that's just how it is right there, man. <laughs> We're gonna round this up right now, but I just want you guys to know that it's all about what you're looking for. There's not really anyone that's superior to the other one. Right now, the HDMI 2.1 on the Sony TV is obviously you know, something to look forward to uh, or something that separates it from the monitor, but like I said, there's not a lot of games that, you know, play at up to 120 frames per second, which is what, you know, that cable wouldn't allow you to do. If you had, if you had an input that was HDMI 2.0, you can't play at high resolutions at high frame rates at the same time. So you can't have both of those. The game was able to play the same exact way it played on the big screen as it did on the small screen. So they played exactly the same to me. I did not notice a difference. And I hope you guys were able to tell or notice the difference as well. If you found any or if you see any, let me know. But... I didn't see any in there. If you want to find out more about this monitor, maybe, you know, pick up one and go ahead and check down in the description. I'm going to have a link to both the TV and the uh, monitor. You can go ahead and check the prices for yourselves and see that I'm not kidding. One's 300, one's over $1,000, like way over it. If you have the money and want a TV, just go for it, man. Don't stop yourself. It's gonna look good, it's gonna feel great. But if you don't have the money, or if you prefer a monitor, then just do that as well. You're not gonna lose much, like I said. And I'm pretty sure that down the line there's gonna be more HDMI 2.1 input monitors. Right right now there's not there's none. I haven't found any. I looked already, didn't see any. But as soon as a company releases one, You'll be the first to know, man. Don't worry, I'll do an unboxing of it on this channel as well, just for you guys. That's all I got for you guys in this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to go down and use those affiliate links if you're going to be buying it. So buy through those links down in the description. And I would really appreciate it because I make a little commission that helps me, you know, keep growing, which is awesome. And I love you guys for it. If you're looking for a video like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. It's your boy Midas. And I'm out, y'all.